Welcome again to another session of another half. I'm your host Sheila Salim. Yeye yeah, langu naitwa Emmanuel Everest, ni meneja wa shule ya Fountain Gate branch ya Mwema. Fountain Gate Mwema ni shule ya nasari ambayo inapokea watoto kuanzia mwaka mmoja paka miaka mitano. Na tunafanya registration kila Januari kwa watoto na kuanzia sasa hivi registration tumeshaanza kufanya kwa ajili ya mwaka 2022. Karibuni sana wazazi wote wenye watoto kuanzia mwaka mmoja ni shule ambayo inasifika sana kwa malezi ya watoto. Tuna tunalea watoto kitaaluma, kimichezo na kukuza vikaji vyao. Kwa upande wa usafiri huduma yetu ni bora kabisa kwani mtoto anachukuliwa nyumbani ikiwa na maana anachukuliwa nyumbani kwa wazazi wake na kurudishwa nyumbani kwa wazazi wake na hii ni huduma tofauti kabisa na shule zingine ambazo huwa zinawaacha watoto kwenye vitio sisi tuliliona hilo na tukafanya utaratibu wa kuwa tunawachukua watoto nyumbani na ni kwa sababu tunaamini hawa bado ni watoto wadogo kwa hiyo wanatakiwa kuchukuliwa kwenye mazingira ya kiusalama zaidi na kurudishwa kwenye mazingira ya kiusalama zaidi Aa, kwa kawaida watoto wadogo kabisa wakifika shuleni huwa wanapata kifungua kinywa na mchana wanapata ratiba ya chakula cha mchana kama kawaida na kabla ya kuondoka huwa kuna chakula kidogo pia wanapata kwa ajili ya kuwapa nguvu ya kufika nyumbani karibuni sana wazazi wote wenye watoto wa kuanzia mwaka mmoja mpaka miaka mitano karibuni sana Fountain Gate Mwema shule hii inapatikana Dar es Salaam Tabata Segerea mwisho ndani ya viwanja vya Fantas Park karibuni sana Fountain Gate Academy the fountain of knowledge wisdom and talents Please introduce yourself mm. My name is Titia Dokas Kayanda. Mm, I work at Fountain Gate Academy, especially at the main branch, main branch school, which is in Tabata Sigara, in Ilala, Dar es Salaam. Okay. Tell us your history for you to come here at Fountain Gate Academy. Mm, first of all, I graduated and migrated from the University of Dar es Salaam, the UDism. Do you know it? Yes. yes. I graduated in the year 2017. After there, I've been working in different schools before joining the Fountain Gate Academy School. I've been teaching some schools in different regions and one among them is the Iringa region. Mm-hmm. There is a certain school I was teaching there. I was also teaching in a certain school in Temeke before joining you. Then after that school is when I joined the Fountain Gate Academy. How do you cooperate with your fellow workers? Mm, first of all, I was so happy to find that there are so many workers here at Fountain Academy, you know. There are so many teachers, cookers, cleaners, there are so many. So and when you are to me they they always say that unit is power yes so we unite uh, we cooperate in doing each and everything when we, we teachers meet different challenges we always share our challenges to find solutions to what we are facing with all the workers what are the most common challenges you face in your daily work um, as a teacher especially I'm a class teacher so I have my uh, special class of which it's like I own it that means I'm responsible for each and everything concerning my kids so there are just uh, common challenges like you pupils making a lot of noise uh, so sometimes i have to talk much to you so that you can maintain silences just um, some pupils you know are not studying on their own so i have to keep on emphasizing them and some of you sometimes are disturbing you know so those are just common challenges of which they are just normal i always solve them yes what what inspired you for you to come here at fountain age academy mm, as a teacher Uh, that means I were always uh, paying attention to different schools here in Tanzania and uh, Fountain Gate is one among the biggest schools in Tanzania 
is one among the schools which are performing better nowadays uh, and then some years back. So I heard about Fountain Gate in different um, in different uh, areas, in different social medias like Instagram, I don't know, in different um, radios. Fountain Gate is also having a team, a football team. Eh? So I was also hearing about the football team. So I was so interested in searching about this school. So when I came across it, I just decided to come and ask for the job opportunity if I could be given the opportunity and the work. And uh, I'm thankful that I got the opportunity to join Fountain Gate Academy. Okay. Why did you stop teaching the University of Dar es Salaam? Um, who told you that I was teaching at the university? Because you told us your history. Mm -hmm. You graduated the University of Dar es Salaam mm -hmm. in 2017. So the question comes, mm -hmm. why did you stop teaching the University of Dar es Salaam? Um, I graduated from that university and First of all, I was not officially employed. I was just volunteering myself uh, where I volunteered myself for just uh, for some months. For, and then when, when those months were gone, I left when I went to search for other new jobs. Yeah. Which is better, teaching adults or as children? Mm, I have much experience of teaching both the adults and the kids and I find it better teaching the kids because you know you kids yes, yeah, it's very simple to control you comparing to those adults. Sometimes the adults have so many things in their heads in their mind thinking about their families they have a lot of issues but for you kids you, sometimes, you are sometimes disturbing but it is much simple to control you what plan do you have now? Mm, my plan is, I like teaching, so I plan to go for further studying, but basing in education, yes. Okay, what do you tell the director of Fountain Gate Academy? Mm, first of all, I'm congratulating him for investing in education. You know, investing in education is investing in people's life. Uh, hey, when you have a school like this, uh, not only one, he's having a school in Dodoma, even in Uringa. So he's investing in the life of people, investing in pupils, investing of workers, teachers, cleaners, and uh, other people who are working in these institutions of Font and Gate Academy. So what I can advise, I'm congratulating him, but also I'm advising that we have so many regions in Tanzania, so it would be better if we will find one day we'll be having Font and Gate Academy in Mwanza, Font and Gate Academy in Arusha, even in the southern regions like Lindi, Mtwara, yes. Okay. Uh, what musician you like the most, the most, the most? Um, gospel, bongo flavor, or what? Yeah, bongo flavor. Bongo flavor. Mm -hmm. my, my, my best musician is Alkiba. Okay, why do you like Alkiba? Alkiba. Alkiba is a... Um, Alkiba is a cool guy, you know. Uh -huh. He's very cool. But also his songs always have something to teach. His songs always have morals. You can listen to a song, you get something after listening. Not only enjoying, but also learning something from them. Okay. What song you love the most from Alkiba? Um, the song I love mostly from Alkiba is the song called Dushelele. Have you ever heard about it? No, but I've heard of Moana, Mediocre, and so much more. Yes. Are you also the follower of Alkiba? Yeah, so much. I really like Alkiba. Oh. Our family is Alkiba's part. So, wow. Also, I like Alkiba. So, I like the Dushelele song, and I also like the way he dances, you know? Yes, I like, yes, I like his style. Too. Yes. Uh, enough of your work. Now, let's talk about your daily life. Okay, where do you live? Uh, 
I live in Ilala, specifically Tabata. Okay, yes. Are you married? I'm not married, I'm single. Yes. Uh, uh, do you have a child? Uh, no, not yet. Yes. Okay, uh, do you have your parents until now? Mm, yes, thanks to God that my mom is still alive, my dad is also still alive, they are there. And I pray that God may continue keeping them health. Yes. Thank you for watching another session of Another Hub. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, share, to comment. Goodbye. Thank you. FGA TV. Chemi Chemi Elim. Ekima Navipaji.